Hi, this is Michelle and Mike and we are at home with our two English Cocker Spaniels, Gabe and Finlay. And we're speaking for Life the Basic Manual and we just wanted to talk to you about um, being aware of certain treats that are good or not good for puppies based on what I have experienced and learned. So when we got Gabe um, and I'm going online or going to local pet stores, to see what treats um, to give my puppy for, especially while he's teething. So there's some really good dental products out there, which they actually do state, if you have to look very closely, that you cannot give to any puppies under six months old. Some are even under nine months old because the puppies haven't yet learned on controlling their swallowing. So it's, it's very important for us to do our homework to make sure that we give the right treats for our puppies, um, however much that they might love them. So there was one treat that I got and I happened to go online to them and they're saying for puppies under 22 pounds. And I thought, oh, well, Gabe's, um, oh, sorry, puppies who are at 21, 22 pounds. And I thought, well, Gabe's that way. So that treat should be good for him. Well, to come further down saying they won't, they do not recommend to give those treats to a puppy under nine months old. So it's not necessarily determined on their weight. It's really more determined on their age. So that's why it's really important to be careful. And also with certain treats, um, if they're too small, they can just swallow in one go or it could or they could get trapped in their throat. So sometimes it's always good to maybe break it and just let them try and chew it more instead of just having their natural thing of just swallowing it all in one go. Um, so they're, um, with rawhide, I don't give the dogs rawhide because I know that they might not be so digestible and um, it's not the healthiest treat for a dog. So I do look for things that are either low fat um, high in protein, um, that is easily digestible, um, whether it's non-GMO. Um, we all have our own preferences of what we feel is the best treat for our animals. So there's no set, there's no set um, thing. So I get them soft treats, I get them hard treats. But what I've also felt that I've learned, especially for the puppy, because I know he likes treats that help his, um, for his teething, but we also find that while he's so young, we're also brushing his puppy teeth so that he can get used to the action of it. Um, so that when his, all his teeth come in and it, they're going to be cleaned every week is which what we do with our dogs, um, that he'll already be used to it. And also what's good with, to help them as well is to either hold them very gently underneath their neck and massage their gums and their mouth if you if they let you do it because that can also calm down and it's always nice when they're doing things or while they're um, whatever and they're doing something good is to have a little treat as we all know and just to praise them um, so but as you can see with our little Gabe here he loves to have his belly rub while he has a little chewy thing in his mouth. 